billion sins. It doesn't have to be the so-called great sin. One sin disconnects you just like when you put your cell phone on uh, the socket and you're connecting it to the uh, electricity if someone comes with a scissor and cuts it once there's no connection you don't have electricity on your phone in the same way if you do one sin you're disconnected with God if you do million sins you're still disconnected with God it doesn't matter the disconnection is gone and you need to be reconnected to God um, and that day well, I got to know the truth that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and that I can get forgiveness if I repent and ask God for forgiveness. And the Holy Spirit actually spoke to my heart and said, I can give you the ability to become a child of God. I later found out that that's a Bible verse in John 1:12, And that day I got born again. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So um, we are losing so many youths to depression identity crisis and suicide what can be done depression that's a place where i also have been when you feel like there is no hope when you feel like the best thing to do is just to kill yourself but remember god has 10 moral role, role, uh, moral uh, laws that he wrote in his word you shall not have other gods other than me you shall honor the god god alone in heaven don't make any idols of god don't make your own god who suits whatever you want don't steal don't disobey your parents and so on don't kill people don't even kill yourself you're not supposed to kill nobody um we've all uh broken these commandments of god and if you don't have hope, you start getting depressed. The devil is a devil, an enemy who you don't see. He will always tell you, you've, you've lost it. Whatever you've done, there is no way out. But he's a liar. From the very beginning, whatever he speaks is a lie. Your hope is in God. You can call upon God no matter how far you are, how deep you, you've fallen, how sinful you are. You can call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Bible says you will be saved. The Bible also says now is the time of salvation. Don't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow is never promised. You don't know if tomorrow you'll be here. You don't even know if five minutes you'll be here. And during these days which we are living in where you find diseases which nobody has answers to, we need to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will save you. He will set you free from depression. He will give you hope. You're not hopeless. There is hope in Christ Jesus. Amen. So, can favor be bought? That's a very good question. <laughs> the Bible says grace and peace came through Jesus Christ. He is the one who gives grace. He's the one who gives favor. Actually, we just talked about it uh, some minutes ago. We are all disqualified before God. Each one of us is disqualified because we have all sinned. But God came and he took the form of a human being. Actually, God could not die, but he had to become a human being made of flesh and blood so that he could be able to die. And he, the, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. What we get as a payment for our sin is death, is a, uh, separation, eternal separation from God. But Jesus Christ brought grace to us. He is grace himself. He's the one who personifies grace. He came and he became a human being. He took all our sins, all our curses, all our diseases, all that evil that we had done, all that which separated us from God, all those 10 commandments that we broke, one, two, three, four, ten 10 of them, whatever. He took all those uh, sins upon himself. And he said on the cross, it is finished. He paid the price for it. The Bible says, cast is he who hangs on a cross. Jesus took the curses for you and me that we may be blessed. He qualified us who were never qualified. The Bible says, he who knew no sin. Jesus knew no sin. He's God. He never sinned. Although he lived as a man here on earth, he didn't commit any sin. He went through all those trials you and I go through. We always fail, but he always overcame them for you and for me he didn't do it for himself and then he says whoever believes in him on that cross that he hung on the cross took your sins your curses your sicknesses when you believe that you will be saved and on that cross he defeated the devil that's the one who had uh, the power over death jesus took those keys away from the devil he defeated the devil all diseases all sicknesses all curses and he said it is finished it is finished. That battle was finished on that cross. His blood can wash away each and every one of your sins. It doesn't matter how sinful you are. You can be bought free by the blood of Jesus. He paid the wages of sin, which is death. And he rose up again 
because he says death has been defeated. Oh, death, where is your power? It's been defeated. And he rose up again with all power in heaven, on earth, and even in hell. Even in hell, those demons bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Even here on earth and in heaven, everybody bows to the name of Jesus Christ. And it's an invitation for you. Grace can never be bought. There are many people who say, pay me and you'll get grace. G give, I'll say in Swahili, lipa sadaka utaponyo. Lipa sadaka utasamehewa. It's a life from hell. Grace is a gift from God for any human being who accepts his grace. Because God loves you. God loves me. And he just wants to set you free. It's an invitation. Wherever you are, just listen and just say, God, I have sinned against you. I agree with you. I, I agree that the wages of sin is death. But I thank you that those wages were paid at the cross, that Jesus said it is finished. And I come to you and I ask you to forgive me. And when you do that, the Bible says God will give you the power to become a child of God. And when you become a child of God, you need to feed, you need to eat food. Just like when you're born, you need to drink milk, you need to eat food. In the same way as a Christian, you need to read the Word of God. You need to pray. You pray, praying is talking to God. Reading the Word of God is being fed by God. And you ask God to fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit because you need the power of the Holy Spirit to live your Christian life. And when you do that and you a sin again, the devil will come and tell you, you've blown it. Now God can never forgive you. But that's a lie. You know, like when you go out and exercise and you're sweating. Right now it's hot. I'm also sweating now. But when you start sweating and you're smelling sweaty, what do you do? Do you go and hide yourself under your bed and expect to be clean? No, you don't. You go take a shower and then you're clean. The Bible says when you sin, you go back to God and tell him, God, I messed it up forgive me and god will wash you again and you'll be clean again and you go your journey when you fall again the bible says like a little child 